to my vlog. So today, magbibake tayo and we have a guest and that is Kuya Jay, Jay from Masked Command. Yay! So guys, magbibake kami for you and ano yung magbibake natin today? Today, we're going to make Filipino bread. It's pandesal. So, ito na. So, share ni Kuya Jay ang kanyang recipe for our Filipino pandesal. So, ano nga ba yung Kuya Jay? First, we need 200 grams of brown sugar, um, 2 teaspoons of salt, 2 tablespoons of yeast, 100 grams of butter, 1 tablespoon of oil, 1 teaspoon of vanilla, any vanilla, 2 cups of water, and 1 ki kilo of bread flour. So, habang iniintay natin yung yeast na umalsa, Kuya Jay, ano ba yung una natin gagawin? First, we're going to mix the dry ingredients. Gano'ng kadami yung flour ko kuya Jay? For this one, we need 1 kilo of the bread flour. Wow, ang dami. So, sa isang kilo, yun lang din ang magagawa natin. For this one, the proportion for this is 50 to 60 of pandesal. O, oh, isang barangay na ipapakainin nyo guys. Pag <laughs> nag-bake kayo, Wala isang kilo. Wala na, ano na sila. Busog na sila. Oh. Okay, next, the sugar. Then, your salt. Oh, we need to mix it evenly para mas maganda yung bread na. So, moist yan siya na bread. Yes. Malambot. Malambot siya. Then, the butter. Guys, you still need butter and oil pala for pandesal. Yes, and the vanilla. Yung vanilla para? This one is to help the bread to have a, you know, good smell. Para hindi siya... Para mabango. Yes, para mabango siya, hindi siya yung, you know, typical na bread na amin. Okay guys, so nandito na yung yeast natin. Look! Sobrang alsa niya. After 10 minutes, ito yung nangyari. So, ano nagagawa natin kay Jay? After natin po waiting for 10 minutes for umalsa yung yeast, lagyan na natin siya sa ating dough. Oh. Okay, mix muna lang siya. Mix. Para mahalo ka dito. Yeah. Ang hirap. Magkakamasels naman ako na ito po yung gym. Okay na yun. At least we don't need to go to, ano na, to gym. So guys, after natin i-mix lahat ng ingredients, it's time to knead our dough. Tama? Yes. Okay. And of course, kailangan malinis yung kamay nyo. So, don't forget to wash your hands and have a clean silicon. table. Oh, yun. Or silicon mat. Or silicon mat, ma. ma. yes. Yun. Para pwede tayo mag-ganun. Magmasa na magmasa. Okay, let's start, Kuya J. So, para saan itong ginagawa ko, Kuya Ito, para hindi siya magdikit sa ating silicon mat. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, ito, isik-isik lang, ganyan. Oo. Isik-isik lang, ganun. Sabi nga ni Franco, Mommy, it's a slime. Kasi for the kneading time, we need to need up approximately 20 to 25 minutes of kneading. Ano ba tamang pag-knead? Basta ano mo lang siya, cut and fold. Cut and fold. So, meron tamang procedure ng pag-knead? Yes, there is. Kasi pag mali yung pag-knead mo, Magiging matigas yung bread natin. Kaya kailangan equal lagi ang pag-knead. Oh my! Guys, so kanina, since um, one, one kilo of bread flour yung ginamit natin, we decided na we will cut it into two. 500-500 Yes, 500-500 grams. Yung gagawin ko is the regular Filipino pandesal while Kuya Jay will make the ube pandesal with cheese. Yes, yung quarantine food na sikat na sikat ngayon. So, yun na nga, nagawa tayo. Lalagyan lang natin ng... Flavor, ube flavor, any kind of ube flavor na meron kayo sa bahay. So, dadiretso natin sa dough yun? Yes. Okay. Gusto nga natin siya. Oh! Like that, simple. That's not. Ang magiging ube na yung kulay ng mga sa tao. I-observe naman siya ng dough. 
po, Kuya J, after 25 years of kneading, char, 25 minutes nila siya ininit. So, ano lang gagawin natin? So, after 25 minutes, i-ano lang natin siya like this, parang bowl. Okay. And then, lagay natin siya sa clear na bowl, uh -huh. covered with ketchup or any kind of um, tela. Or kung wala kayong tela, lagyan natin siya ng clear film para lang ma-absorb niya yung uh, sealed siya with the air. Okay. Yun yung clean wrap na. Okay. Okay. So, pag ilang minutes to? Ito, uh, paalsayin natin siya until it's double in bulk in about approximately 2 hours. Oh, ang tagal! Yes! Pero okay. madali na lang yun. Alright. So, balikan natin yung yung dough natin after 2 hours, guys. Alright? Okay. Alright, so Kuya J, after natin, paalsahin ng 1 hour and 30 minutes. Ano na gagawin natin? Yun, gagawin natin ngayon, pa-punch down natin siya. Okay. Para mawala yung hangin niya. Oh. Let's see. And then, after that... Oh! Hey! Yun. Then, after that, ready to ship na siya into serving pieces. Oh, so we are making the regular pandesal here. Yes. Magaling ni Kuya Jay magmasa. But always, don't forget to wash your hands before handling this. Yes, of course. Okay, mag-alala guys, nagugas naman kami. Wala kaming pangkat talaga ng bread, so naganap lang ako sa kitchen. Yan, ginamit ko yung pangkik. So, yeah. Ano din naman basta makat pa siya? Ito sa pieces. Oh, galing. Ito siya dito. Hindi kasi i-bubolts pa natin. Ah, okay. And then after natin siya i-cut for serving pieces, i-roll natin siya sa bread grabs. Okay. And then, dera natin siya sa baking pan. I-roll, i-dredge mo lang siya sa bread grabs. Tama ba? Yes. Ikot-ikot lang. Ikot-ikot lang. Ikot-ikot lang. Tapos, Lalagay natin dito. Di ba dapat nasa window? Di, 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 di. Okay. And then after, pagkatas natin siyang i sa bread grams, um, papaalsahin natin siya ulit na about 30 minutes. Ah, maghihintay ka ulit. Mm -hmm, 30 minutes siya ulit. Okay. So, habang hinihintay natin yung regular pandesal, um, ikakat na rin natin yung ube pandesal natin, tama? Yes. So, we also need the bread crumbs and of course, we need cheese and you can add ube halaya, tama? Para yes. sa films. Okay. So, good luck! Lupo! Oh, oh galing! Nawala yung right. pangit! And then, ganun lang din. Same like the regular pandesal. Okay. Ganun natin siya i-potion na. Ang bango! Ang may ube. Serving size. Mas i-roll ulit. Lagin muna natin yung So, lalagay ko yung cheese ganyan. Tapos ito ko lang yung ganyan. After that, pwede na natin siyang i-bake. Again guys, make sure na clean hands and clean yung surface nyo. So, lalagay ko lang siya sa red cam, tama? Yes. Here. So, yan. Yeah. So, Kuya Jay, gumagawa siya ng merong ube halaya. Ako, ginagawa ko yung may cheese lang. So, guys, after natin siya i-roll at i-dredge sa bread crumbs, Pinaalsa namin siya for 30 minutes at uh, ready na siya ipasok sa oven. So, Kuya Jay, mga ilang minutes at saka anong temp dapat to? Uh, for this one, ang oras niya is 10 to 12 minutes in 300 degree. Okay, let's go to the oven, guys. Let's go! Finally, we are done baking our pandesal and ube. Pandesal with yes! cheese! Yes! Frank, Frank, you want to try our pandesal and ube pandesal? No! <laughs> Let's try first our regular Filipino pandesa. Here, Pede, kuha ka ng sa HP. Oh! Mmm, yung bot! Very soft. 
Sarap. Why do you want? Pwede yeah. to sa coffee. Oo, oh, ano? Prepared na ako ng coffee ko eh. Mmm, sarap! And then okay. next, we can try our... Yes, our ube pandasal naman. Ube cheese pandasal. Okay, try mo na. Woo! It's melting, guys! Look! Zoom na. Wow! Look at that! Grabe, ang sarap! Tinitingan mo na lang. Okay. Sa'yo yung malang. Okay, okay. Wow! Melt in your mouth! Mmm! Ang sarap! Parang may yummy yung mm. cheese pang isa! May cheese! Mm. Guys, sobrang sarap! Sobrang lambot ng mga pandesal namin! Sobrang approved din yung ubes cheese pandesal! And, by the way, um, Kuya Jay has Instagram. You can follow him. And, and nandun yung mga cakes niya, tama? Yeah, yung mga cakes and other pastries. What's your Instagram, Kuya Jay? My Instagram is jj2000. Uh, it's <laughs> jhy2000. There you go. So you can message him. You can order pastries. You can Hi. order cakes, breads, and madami ka pang kaya. Other more, yes. Yes. So message nyo lang siya habang nandito siya. Kaya niyang mag-cater ng orders. Tama? Yep. Yes. Yes. And by the way, thank you so much for watching our video. And we are so happy to bake for you guys. I hope you can.